Hello everybody. Well, I all, I'm sure you all noticed that I've been doing more videos. Um, just trying to keep everybody entertained, including myself. Um, but today, I went to the store and you know what? I guess I'm a hungry man. And these are pretty good, but you have to kind of like pick them up a little bit. And I'll just show you guys how I do it at home. <laughs> so, the first thing that you have to do is open the box. And there's this full tab. Oh, am I going to get it? And you rip it. And it's open. It's not completely. Um, I almost have it by memory, but you have to slip the paper, the plastic and stuff. But here's all this stuff in here. Um, this one's my favorite one. It's the beer battered chicken. It's pretty balanced. It has the meat, the breaded. So, it's kind of junky, but not really. It is. A little bit of vegetable, because it has a succotash, a brownie, and mashed potatoes. So it's a little bit of everything. So as far as I remember, you have to... Hold on, let me read. I haven't made one of these in a while. Okay. So... <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so you remove the film from the chicken. There we go. And the brownie also. Let's see. Okay. And then you slip the one on top of the vegetables. And oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Okay, so basically you remove the film from everything except for the brownies. The vegetables. Okay, so here we go. And you're supposed to microwave it for a shorter period of time. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna microwave it for four minutes. <laughs> Remember, four minutes on high. Okay, so we have six seconds to go and we're gonna be halfway done. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. So, the little brownie got big, and it's time to take it out. It says remove brownie with fork. Let's see here. So you kind of poke on the sides. Oh, it's falling apart. Dig out. Put it on something else, like a little. I normally put it on a little paper plate. And you get a little snack in the middle of your meal. Not bad. Microwave cake. Mm. Okay. So this is where you do the, the fixing up of this. Because it's pretty plain looking right there. Isn't it? Um, you're supposed to break up the potatoes. Um, let's see. Oh, well, the first thing you do is just add more butter. 
some seasoning now we're just gonna pop it in the microwave again for three and a half minutes so let's let's do that how entertaining I wonder if there's a song about the wheel in the microwave going round and round I wonder I wonder all right all right, it's ready, but we're not just done yet. Okay, so this is supposedly how you're supposed to eat it. I have this shit's hot. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. And the veggies look pretty decent. There's plenty of butter. The potatoes are okay. Oh. I'm finish stirring those up. <laughs> oh, I'm not done, I promise. Not bad at all. So, mm. the trick to this is I put a little bit of paprika on the potatoes. Dust in here. Oh, a little bit much. Oh, well. And the chicken is kind of like moist, which isn't a nice word in general. But what you can do to remedy that is you roast it on the stove. So let's see here. Or stick it, stick it from the side, and then you just burn it for a little bit, for like a minute or two, each piece, and that'll really help for it to taste better. You hear it sizzling away, snapple and crackle, or snackle, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. So I'm going to continue with that, and then I'll let you all see when it's done. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. They're a little toasted, they look so much better. You can feel them, they're a little more crunchier. Perfect. And I'm just going to do my little barbecue. Oh, I can't open this. Sorry. Some barbecue here. Oh, how delicious. For being a ghetto person in the house. And the other thing, so it doesn't look too bad, does it? I feel like I'm back in school. Let's see. Actually, I can do that. Hold on one second. I have a school tray, so let's see here. Let's transfer our little pieces. Perfect. Now I feel better. Let's see. So you guys can see me. Let's see here. So we're going to... Oh, my 
Delicious vegetable succotash. These nice and toasted um, chicken strips. They're a little black, I'm sorry. And then our dipping sauce. Perfect. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to eat my hungry man dinner because that's what I am. <laughs> right, so this is the box. And it didn't come out too, too bad. So we're going to try it. And then one thing I've always learned too, is that if you have nice silverware and plates, well this is just a, a kitchen plate, but if you have nice things to eat with, the food tastes better. Something I've learned. But let's see here. Mm. Not bad at all. And the shell's nice and crunchy. Mm. Here, let's see. So we added butter, um, cayenne pepper, and cheese. Mm. Not bad. Mm. Has a little bit of a kick. And our veggies. Mm. The extra butter and the lemon pepper really did help. I mean, if you ate from a cafeteria as a kid, I'm sure this has been much better or worse than that. Mm. And of course, a little browning, I mean, it's a microwave cake. Not bad, I've had it before. Mm. And well, what else could I drink with a human dinner? A polar pot from the Circle K. Mm. Yes. All the luxuries of modern living at the fingertips notice. Hungry man. Good night, you all.